Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know I've been missing for a very long time and you've been very concerned. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna still be missing for a really long time until I get things sorted out and sort of resituated, get my mojo back. But that's not why we're here right now. The video, very clear, very straightforward. I've been coming across a problem with Premiere Pro 2022. I think a lot of people have been coming across this problem recently. I've been looking online and everyone's complaining about this one issue and that is exporting video, at least H.264. Now, the other thing I've been seeing online when you look up these answers is not really an answer. And I think this is probably the big issue that everyone's dealing with. I found a solution. It's not the solution, but it is a solution. And it's at the end of the day, not fixing the bug, but it is going to get you content creators out there and people who are whose workflow depends on this. It's going to get you getting your videos exported without having to change the format or download a third party software or whatever other weird trick. Now, before we do that, I'm going to reenact the situation that might put you in this situation. Hey there, I'm a YouTuber and I'm trying to just make my videos real cool. And I'm very cool because you can tell by the sunglasses that I'm wearing indoors. I, oh, want to use the latest versions of the softwares. So I'm going to update my Premiere Pro through my Creative Cloud. I can't see the screen because he's polarized. I want to update because I want the latest and the greatest. Oh, now I can see the screen. And I'm just going to open up my latest and greatest Premiere Pro that's updated to the latest version. Take my good old project here. And I'm going to export this bad boy. That's not working. And reenactment over. That was me the whole time. It's not exporting. Something that people are saying is to switch it to software encoding only and not hardware but that makes it super slow. Some people are saying to switch it out of H.264 and do something else, but if you shouldn't have to do that. So here's the fix. We're gonna open up Creative Cloud and we're gonna go to make sure you're in apps and all apps. And then you'll see the list of installed apps that you have here. And if you look here in updates, you'll see it's this version, 22.1.2. That's the version that seems to be the issue. So you go back to all apps, and go to Premiere Pro. When you hover over Premiere Pro, you notice a couple of these things pop up and you see these three dots. Click the three dots and you have other versions. Click other versions and you'll see all the older versions that are still supported to this point. Current version, 22.1.2. Older versions, 22.0, 15.4.1, etc. Installing this version of Premiere Pro will remove the version that is currently installed along with any updates you may have applied. Oh no, I dare you. Continue. And now we see Premiere Pro is going to install and revert back to 22.0 or whatever version you picked. I'm twiddling my thumbs in case you didn't, you can't see it. Installation is done. I took off my sweatshirt because it's about to get real hot up in here. If you look back at the installed list, you'll see Premiere Pro's back on that list. But unlike everything else, it says update available. Reopen your project. Don't have to do anything to the project. Just open it back up in the reverted software. And we are going to now export just like the good old days. I'm doing it with my 1080p 24 constant bitrate of 40 H.264, just like I do every other video that I export. And I'm going to click export. And we're doing notice hardware encoding. We're not doing software encoding, which means it's using the GPU like it should be export. And there you go. It is now exporting. That's the fix. If you're having problems with version 22.1.2 of Premiere Pro or in the future, so long as the Creative Cloud is set up this way, if you're ever having problems with an update, definitely let Adobe know. They have to know this stuff. But for all the people out there who are trying to find older versions of the software, it's in Creative Cloud. You go to Creative Cloud, go to all apps, find your app that you wanna to switch to, hover over to the three dots and find older versions, download that, and it should be good. That is straight from Creative Cloud. It doesn't require third-party software. It doesn't require changing these settings. You keep the settings you want. You just don't deal with the updates. On the optimistic bright side, at least there's a way to go back to an older version fairly easily. So hopefully Adobe doesn't get rid of that feature. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I mean, subscribe if you want to. I can't make the argument for you to subscribe because I'm not consistent. And I'm also not even like, I don't have a theme here. I don't know if I'm ever going to find a theme. But hey, at least I can provide some value. So share it with whoever's got the problem. And uh, I'll see you when I see you.